all right guys so in this video we are going to talk about the emoted a banking frozen malware so let me start with the agenda that what we are going to discuss in this video what is emotet then after we will discuss about that how does emotet spread there is uh, i think maybe two to three slides and we have two diagrams and i will let you know that how how we can get to know we how we can understand that how ac actually it is spread then after we'll discuss about what is the history of emotet from where it has been started which year it started who does emotet target what is the target industries for emotet how can i protect myself from emotet even how i can protect my organization from emotet how to find the iocs this is one of the uh, most important concept and then after we'll talk about what you will you can do if the system is already compromised that is how can i remove the emotet and at last how does it is related to soc so let me start what is emotet so emotet is nothing it's uh, one of the malware that is primarily spread through spam emails so the infection may arrive either via malicious script macro enable documents files or maybe the malicious link now here you you, uh, you might be thinking that what is that mal spam right okay let me take the highlighter first so you might be thinking about the mal spam so what is mal spam so it's nothing but a malicious spam it is unsolicited email unsolicited email means unwanted email that seeks to deliver a malicious payload either through a microsoft office uh, attachment or by tricking the user into clicking a link in the email right and the second thing is that what is that macro so the macro is nothing but a program or you can say the code or you can say you can say the predefined task which is already uh, coded which is already uh, given the set of instruction in that file and the email will come with an attachment so uh, whenever you will see the emote that a campaign happens they will send one of that uh, email and in that email there will be one of the attachment and that attachment contains one of the doc file so the doc file may be uh, it mainly contains one of the uh, maybe excel file it might be the doc file it might be the pdf file so here this is a, just a demo that uh, how, how actually it uh, looks like you know and uh, this is the payment re uh, remittance advice uh, if you read about this your statement is attached please remit payment at your earliest convenience and here if you can see here there is one of the document is already has been attached here right so this is uh, this is one of the way just to know about these things once you will click on it it will open and it will ask you to uh, click on that enable button for that we will we will talk about in the next slide we'll talk about in this that how does emoter spread so don't worry about that so how does it it's, uh, actually spread so primary con uh, contribution method for emoted is through mal spam and we already talked about mal spam right it's nothing but a malicious spam emoted transact now what is the meaning of the transact transact means rob or you can say a uh, loot right so emoted will loot your contact list and sends itself to your friends family co-workers and client so what is the reason why why the hacker is uh, robbing your contact so it's very simple you know once the hacker hijacked your email account the recipient feels safe because uh, the email is going to be sent on your behalf so definitely the recipient is going to be feel safe and they are more inclined to click bad urls and download the infected files so basically it's just a social engineering what we can say okay so here uh, if you remember we were we were uh, we were talking about this one right so this is the email which uh, directly comes to you and once you will click on this document if, if you can see here there, there is a document once you will click on it what you will see you will see like this one and if you can see here there is enable content right so once you will click on this enable content the macro the predefined task whatever the code is already written uh, that is going to be execute with the help of powershell and that will download the malware 
that is the emotad so what whatever the i have just told in the previous slide that each and everything is written here you can just uh, make a note of this or you can read it because once the malware is will be downloaded it definitely it will steal the credentials or maybe the personal data maybe the, uh, the personal information right now this is the one of the most slide uh, with the help of this slide you can easily understand the, that how actually the emotet is spreading that how it emotet is working so initially you got one of the spam emails right and there was the attachment documents definitely you you have just opened it and you have clicked on it right so once you clicked on it the doc contains macro to launch powershell right so macro is enabled and once the macro enabled it launches the powershell and powershell downloaded the emoted because there was already the predefined task and there is already a payload there is already a url which is directly downloaded the emoted once the, the emoted downloaded it directly communicate the cnc server now what is that cnc server so let's see i mean uh, this is the fifth point if you can say emoted connects to cnc server sends machines data whatever the machines data there is they will send to the cnc server so cnc is nothing but a command and control right so uh, let's say computer control it is one of the, the thing that computer control by an attacker to send commands to system compromised by malware and receive stolen data from a uh, you can say the target network and the sixth one if you can see here the emoted he is trying to download he once he is connected to that cnc now he is trying to download that emoted uh, emot sorry yeah, he is down trying to download the trick bot now what is that trick bot or you can say the qk bot it is one of the banking trojan that is uh, that can steal the credential or you can say the personal data so basically the whole malware name is emoted but the uh, main main thing is working here is that trick bot right this trick bot is actually working here okay in this diagram we will understand in the four phases the first one is infection then establish persistence then instruction phase and the uh, last part is network propagation in which we'll uh, know that how they can easily get all the credentials from our organization or you can say from my system the victim system you can say so let me start with the first one infection we already have discussed so you got one of the email you just click open it and you just click on that malicious macros downloaded the emoted malware here now now here you already entered in the network right now for that that is second point is established position now what is the meaning of that position so once malware gains access to a system it looks to be there for a long time right definitely so emoted creates registry auto start keys and it injects itself into a running process after that what is happening the third phase that is the instruction phase so once it is uh, it makes the persistent connection it will uh, directly communicate to the cnc it means c2 server you can say c2 server you can say cnc server that is command and control definitely so from here data is going to be transferred data is going to be download data is going to be uh, uh, received by the uh, cnc server right and then uh, in the fourth part network propagation that one is very important to know you because there is some tools if you can see web browser pass view net pass dot exe outlook scrapper so how actually it work so let's say you are attacker and you have all you have kind of communicated to the cnc server and now you have to uh, uh, network propagation you are you are the phase of network propagation then how you can take the outlook password of any uh, you can say compromised system right how you can take the network uh, passwords so here the first one is net pass now what is that net pass so net pass is nothing but a network password recovery tool and it is capable of recovering locally stored passwords this one right for network computers especially now second one we have the web browser uh, pass view what it can do it can reveal the password stored by the web browser might be it, it might be your google chrome it might be your edge it might be your opera or maybe the microsoft so whatever the uh, things there will be they are, the web browser pass view can reveal the password 
whatever the password you have already stored there. Outlook scrapper. Now, what is the role of that Outlook scrapper? Uh, so, it generally scraps names and email address from victims Outlook account. And here you can see the credential enumeration, right? So, it can also uh, use uh, uh, directly go in the server and can use and can enumerate the credentials. Here you can see the mail pass view, right? It's nothing but a password to recover the uh, Outlook password. So you can also recover the Outlook password. So after recovering all those things, you can directly send to that CNC server. So this is what the, with the help of that uh, emotet uh, attacker can do these kind of stuffs. Now what is the history of emotet? So it was first identified in the year 2014 and firstly in the first version Emoted was designed to steal bank accounts only. So now till 2022 the Emoted is one of the challenge for the organization maybe the especially uh, for the small scale because, because they don't have uh, that much uh, uh, security and, and they have also lacking of knowledge regarding their cyber security. So as of now, the current version of Emotet can also download the other malware and then uh, can infect the other machines too. They can also use the uh, uh, network networking. So let's say your system is compromised and you are connected in, in the same network with other 10 uh, computers. Then those 10 computers is definitely is going to be compromised. So who does Emotet target? So generally it targets each and everything, whether it's a small scale industries, whether it's a banking se sector, whether it's medical, or you can say Bitcoin wallets, government entities, each and everything Emotet can uh, uh, target. Now, how can I protect my organization and myself from Emotet? Now let's suppose the Emotet is, didn't happen and uh, didn't enter in your organization but before that what you can do how you can protect your organization before it comes uh, in your organization so here it is that you can educate the employees about emotet keep your co computer endpoints you can up to date with the latest patches of microsoft windows and secondly the don't download suspicious attachments or click a shady look, uh, looking link you can also educate yourself and your users on creating a strong password and create MFA. MFA is multi-factor authentication, obviously. For a proactive approach, you can search the IOCs, whatever the IOCs related to uh, this emoted have uh, on the, uh, maybe the social media, maybe in the internet, you can just find out all those things and you can block in your organization after concerning with your uh, senior leaders and uh, maybe the your teammates. Now how to find the IOCs of Emoted? Okay, this one is very important that Microsoft block and micro. There is a lot of blocks. You can read those blocks and definitely you will get the IOCs of Emoted. Twitter, from my perspective, Twitter is one of the best method. You can directly go on Twitter and just write uh, uh, Emoted IOCs. That's it. You will, sorry, you will find the IOCs of that. And GitHub, obviously, there is a lot of things on GitHub. You can go on GitHub and can see the IOCs of Emotet as well. How I can remove the Emotet? Now let's see that one of the uh, system is compromised and you are a cyber security analyst. How you will remove the Emotet? So that uh, keep one thing in your mind guys that whenever there is some uh, any system is compromising uh, for a malware, maybe for a ransomware, for any other thing then it, what you have to do the first step is isolate that system from your organization network. This is the first step is um, always patch and clean the infected system. Analyze and investigate your network if found more system. Definitely you will find if you if that system is not isolated then definitely you will find more system. And if you found your that system then you can clean each computer uh, on your network one by one. And block the observed IOCs you know, in your network, whatever the observed, uh, you have observed the indicator of com uh, compromises. So IOCs stands for indicator of compromises. Maybe it's uh, a domain, maybe it's sender, uh, maybe it's hashes, IP and other things as well. 
how does it is related to SOC? Definitely, you are if you are SOC analyst, you will get a lot of emails in your Outlook. Even the your organization employees going to be uh, having a lot of emails regarding the Emotet if there is some Emotet uh, campaign is happening. So that's how it relates to SOC. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.